Hi guys, in this video I will give you a high level overview of AWS eCase Anywhere and will show you a short demo on setting up an eCase Anywhere development cluster in my workstation. As you all know, AWS eCase is a managed Kubernetes service provided by AWS. eCase Anywhere is a feature that lets you operate eCase Kubernetes cluster in on-premise environments, meaning the control plane and the worker nodes are managed and controlled by you that are optimized for AWS. In terms of provisioning, EKS Anywhere currently supports Mac and Ubuntu for local development clusters and VMware vSphere and bare metal servers for production setup. You can use EKCTL, the EKS command line utility to deploy the EKS Anywhere cluster in your data center. For example, for VMware, you have to create a YAML configuration with all the network and vSphere configurations and then you use the config file with EKSCTL to deploy the cluster. All the steps are well documented in the AWS documentation and I have linked up all the documents and resources in the description. Once the clusters are provisioned, you can manage EKS Anywhere cluster from the AWS EKS Cloud Console by registering it using the EKS Anywhere provider. The integration happens through the EKS connector. It is an agent that runs on your EKS Anywhere cluster. Once the cluster is registered, you can visualize all your on-premise EKS clusters and its objects on the AWS Cloud Console. Now, when it comes to pricing, it is completely free. However, charges are applicable if you opt for enterprise support for Anywhere clusters, that is $24,000 per cluster per year. Also, AWS will not manage the underlying cluster infrastructure or your cluster control plane. AWS provides only tooling required for the cluster setup. It is a shared responsibility between organization and the AWS support team. If you compare other cloud providers, you have similar service in Google Cloud called Anthos and in Azure called Azure Arc. Now let's look at a demo of an EKS Anywhere cluster that I have set up on my Mac. It works on Ubuntu as well. Your system should have a minimum of 4 cores and 16 GB of RAM. You should have Docker, EKCTL and EKCTL Anywhere plugin installed in your system. Also you need to have a valid AWS CLI configuration to authenticate AWS for registering the cluster. Now let's get started with the setup. Here is the command to generate the cluster config where we mention the cluster name and docker as provider. Once you execute the command, it generates a cluster configuration YAML. Now let's deploy the cluster using the ekctl configuration file. It will take a while for the cluster to be provisioned for the first time. If you check the docker desktop, you can see the containers getting deployed. Now the cluster is deployed and in running state. Let's validate the cluster using the kubeconfig file generated by ekctl. You can find the kubeconfig file in the folder generated by ekctl. Now let's list the nodes by setting the kubeconfig variable. The nodes are getting listed and the cluster is running without any issues. Now let's register our EKS Anywhere local cluster to AWS to view all cluster information and objects in the AWS EKS dashboard. Here is the EKS CTL register command where we pass the cluster name, EKS Anywhere provider and the region. Let's execute the command. It throws an error saying retry later. Let's try the command again. This time it went through. Now if you check the cluster folder, you can see three YAML files generated. One is to deploy the EKS connector agent, second one to create a cluster role of the connector, and third YAML to allow dashboard full access. If you check the EKS connector YAML, you can see the connector agent image that gets deployed as a stateful set. Let's deploy all the three YAMLs. All the YAMLs got deployed. Now, if I check my AWS EKS dashboard, I can see my registered local EKS Anywhere cluster. If I click the cluster, I can see the status is active. Also, under resources, 
I can see the EKS connector ports and all the default namespaces created by EKS anywhere. If I go to compute, I can see the list of nodes and all the information about the nodes. Now that's it for the demo. The EKS Anywhere development cluster is very easy to set up and you can give it a try as you won't get charged for any services. Thank you for watching and let's catch up in the next video.